Good morning, it's Chad C. from C Real Estate here in Richmond, Virginia. Maybe you are a person who's asking yourself, why isn't my house selling? Why didn't my house sell? Now that's kind of an unusual question in the market we've been in where things have been selling rather well, but rest assured there are still houses that for whatever reason aren't selling or haven't sold. Why is the question? There's a number of reasons, and one could be the condition of the property. It could be that it's in such shape that nobody wants to take on a project that extreme. Now, even in this market, uh, there are houses that can be that bad. Now, there's nothing that price can't overcome. In other words, if it's in really bad shape, believe me, there's a price at which an investor would love to buy it, fix it up, and maybe even someone who wants to live in it and make it their home uh, will be willing to buy it and fix it up. It's just the price that it's at. Uh, it doesn't make it worthwhile. Perhaps if it was in uh, better shape, yeah, it would, it would go ahead and sell. So it could be the condition of the property. It could be the, the location or the topography of your lot. It could be how close you are to certain things that people don't want to be close to. But guess what? <laughs> there again, price can make up for that. You adjust the price to a level where somebody says yes. It's on a steep hill. It's close to this busy business area. It's close to the airport. Um, but you know what, at that price, it's worth it. So there you go, price can overcome that. It could be the marketing. Now, today, the way our multiple listing service is structured and the way information is fed to other websites, <clears throat> you know, your house is likely to be exposed everywhere it needs to be exposed, but certainly the realtor may have omitted some information, maybe the bedroom count is off, maybe some features that it has just haven't been made front and center. There could be an omission of some sort that could cause trouble. So you want to make sure all that is right. And, you know, the number one thing that you've probably picked up on me speaking about is the price. Typically, there's no condition that can't be overcome by a price adjustment. The market will show you what the value is by the response that you get. Now, it could be that you're in a price range where there just aren't that many buyers, and typically that's always, that's a higher price point. And in any area, you can go so high in price, so high in value, that there are just a relatively small number of people who can afford it, who are willing to go that high in your area. You got a couple of options. You either adjust the price to where more people are able to do it, still getting as much as you possibly can, or you keep it at what the value is, what you believe the value to be, and you wait. It requires patience. It could take a while, but it's either waited out if you know it's being marketed correctly and it's in good shape and you can somewhat justify the price it's either wait or just lower the price steadily until you find someone who is able and willing so just a few thoughts on why your house might not be selling they can all sell believe me i saw a video one time at a conference where i was an aerial view of a house that had railroad tracks on this side, an uh, airport on this side, an interstate on this side, and it was like encompassed by all of this. And the teacher went on to tell us that yes, it did sell and everything will sell at a certain price. So little insight on that today. I hope you have a wonderful week.